Did you know that in 1921, the first fast food chain was opened in Wichita, Kansas? And fast food became an instant hit, especially to those who have busy lifestyles and have no time to prepare their own meals. Since then, the emergence of fast food chains in the world have been unstoppable. From McDonald's, Subway, Taco Bell, and my personal favorite Wendy's, it's no secret that fast food revolutionized the food industry, but also had an unintended consequence on our health. It's also no secret just how large we've gotten. While fast food is convenient, they're loaded with calories, fat, sugar, sodium, and a lot of other harmful ingredients. This begs the question, does the fast in fast food stand for how fast it's made or how fast heart disease and other related chronic conditions kills us? Food companies are well aware of this situation and took this as an opportunity to introduce food products that are healthier and more organic. Or so we thought. Some of these companies are the same ones who created this problem in the first place, and now they're capitalizing on a solution. I got news for you, it's not all what it seems. Food packaging labels such as sugar-free, 100% natural, low-fat, gluten-free tend to be more attractive to our eyes thinking we're going to get a healthier option. But what's really behind these claims? Stick around until the end of the video because what you might find out is one big scam and it'll shock you. Hi everyone, welcome to Food Mystic Channel. Today, I'm going to talk about some secrets in the food industry that we as society are falling for. Yes, we're all gullible to these so-called healthier alternatives, but it's time to shed light about the food industry because it's not what it looks like. Now, if you find this video eye-opening, please go ahead and smash the like button and, more importantly, subscribe if you haven't done so already. Without further ado, let's get started. When the food packaging says it contains only natural ingredients, that's our sign to put it in our grocery cart, right? And if you're someone who's a busy bee and can barely fit in time for grocery, I assume you also don't have time to fact check these claims. We trust brands too much that we don't even consider the thought that we may be fooled into buying the same unhealthy food disguised in flowery words and promised health benefits. Simply put, this is called food fraud. According to Food Safety Net Services, food fraud is the act of intentionally altering, misrepresenting, mislabeling, substituting, or tampering with any food product at any point along the farm-to-table food process. This can occur in the form of raw materials, ingredients, final products, or even the food packaging system. Unfortunately, this isn't given enough attention, because the adverse effects on the human body often go unnoticed. Plus, the connection between illness and fraudulent food consumption is vague and hard to prove. We can't deny that our naivety as consumers also plays a part in this tricky cycle, simply because we aren't educated enough about mandatory food labeling information and different types of food fraud. Food companies take advantage of the regular person's naivety and make a profit out of it. Let's run over a few examples of companies trying to trick its customers but got caught in the process. On September 11, 2020, a lawsuit was filed against Frito-Lay, a household chip staple. They were sued over false advertising as their packaging illustrates a big block of cheddar cheese and a dollop of sour cream. The plaintiff claims that this is false advertising, as the source of the sour cream flavor of Frito-Lay's chips are in fact from synthetic diacetyl. Here's another one. Have you ever heard of the all-natural coffee made of Nestle? Of course, when it's produced by a reputable company like Nestle, there will be no doubt that it'll be a hit to loyal consumers. Surprisingly, just two days after Frito-Lay's lawsuit, a class-action lawsuit was filed against Nestle, as their coffee mate isn't as vanilla as it claims. Nestle's claim that their coffee mate is all-natural is misleading, as no real nor natural vanilla is found in its ingredients only artificial vanilla is present. Another prominent company also faced a similar issue. Kellogg Co., known to produce childhood and adulthood favorite Pop-Tarts, were questioned with the ingredients they used for their products. On September 5, 2020, Sheehan and Associates sued Kellogg's in New York Federal Court, claiming consumers are led to believe the fruit filling only contains strawberries. But in reality, they also used apples and pears. The lawsuit also claims that a red coloring agent was added to give the filling the appearance of being made from actual strawberries, which is a clear violation of consumer protection rules. 
If any of these misleading claims are starting to make you question everything, then let's clear up the true meanings of some of these overused food product labels. For the calorie conscious, low calorie doesn't always mean it's healthier. Low calorie labeled foods or beverages such as diet sodas most likely contain sucralose, acesulfame potassium, saccharin, aspartame, or other chemical sweeteners. What a mouthful! These are added to maintain the taste of your favorite products, but these sweeteners also cause weight gain, brain tumors, bladder cancer, and many other health hazards. It can also contain extremely harmful ingredients such as phosphoric acid, a potent chemical that may corrode teeth and bones. Do you tend to consume too many sugar-free products, thinking it's the better option? Well, you might have to check on that, because companies are still allowed to label a product sugar-free despite having 0.5 grams of sugar in a single serving size. These products also tend to have higher levels of fat in order to make up for the taste and texture that's lost when sugar is eliminated. Gluten-free diet is gaining popularity these days, as it's said to be helpful in losing weight and reducing cardiovascular diseases. Another question. Who's guilty here of assuming that a food is healthy when it says non-GMO? Can't blame you. Turns out this is one of the biggest misleading claims out there because there are several snack chips on the market right now which use non-GMO ingredients grown with, take note of this, chemical pesticides. How crazy is that? Plus, there are a lot of nutritional products claiming to be non-GMO but failing to provide any certification of that status. So there's truly no certainty with non-GMO products and who said GMO products are bad anyway? Last of the misleading claims we'll clear out are the low-carb and non-fat labels. These labels don't equate to being healthy. These two claims are easily the most common misleading claims we see on products in the market since they're very effective in alluring customers, especially trying to lose weight. Low-carb products like bagels, brownies, and muffins may seem like the healthier option, but these contain high amounts of artificial sweeteners and processed sources of fiber, which is the exact opposite of healthy. It's the same case with non-fat food. Fat provides texture and flavor to food. Without it, it would certainly taste bland. To make up for the lack of fat, food manufacturers replace it with large amounts of sugar, salt, and other artificial flavors to make these food products taste good. We think we're eating healthier, but in actuality, we're only just exposing our bodies to other harmful ingredients. Another prominent example of food industry scams is one we've touched on a bit earlier – false advertising. One example of false advertising is America's favorite fruit snacks, Welch's Fruit Snacks. The entire packaging of Welch's products is filled with images of real fruits and even contains phrases like real fruit and fruit is our first ingredient. However, these are inaccurate because over 40% of the contents in every bag are made from sugar and corn syrup. Not much different from eating candy. Information about the real contents of these products are written in a smaller font, while the phrases claiming that the product contains real fruit is written in larger, colorful, and attractive and fun fonts, which is really deceiving, especially when you're merely passing by these snacks in the grocery aisle. False and misleading advertising could also be seen in Power Bar, a chocolate peanut butter bar that is said to be packed with protein for performance energy. But in reality, these protein bars are composed of high amounts of sugar and fructose, which can produce visceral fat in the body when eaten regularly. It's easy to say that we consumers are naive and uneducated, but are we really the ones to blame? Aren't the companies who manipulated us into buying healthy food disguised in junk food the ones at fault? The examples I mentioned clearly show that companies will do everything to attract the general population and fool them into wanting to purchase their products. Sadly, these brands are successful in both tricking consumers and profiting off of these same customers thanks to false advertising. It is unfortunate how food fraud and label misleading has become commonplace because of companies' desperation to gain more sales, at the expense of their own customers' health and well-being. Companies will always do whatever nets them profit, so sadly it's unlikely we'll see the end of this anytime soon. It's up to us customers to be smart and vigilant about the tricks the food industry does. Look past the bright letters and large fonts and analyze all other nutritional information present. For right now, you really have to get your magnifying glass to read all of the ingredients. Almost like reading the terms and conditions so you'll know exactly what's going into your body. 
After a while though, you'll fall in love with brands that are truthful, and you'll build trust with the select few who actually provide you with what they actually promise. One of my favorite ways to validate actual real and healthy foods is watching Shark Tank or simply watching YouTube videos of reviews of products. The more truthful information out there on what we eat, the better and healthier we can become. What are the extra steps you've taken to make sure you're getting actually healthy food? Let us know in the comments below. Be sure to turn on all notifications by hitting that bell icon. This is Food Mystic signing off and until next time.